Welcome back to the News Desk. I'm your host, Rich Hagen. I have two very special guests from Wizards of the Coast with me. First of all, delighted to welcome Liz Lamferrow. Liz is the Senior Global Brand Manager for Magic the Gathering. And next to her, Mr. Matt Cavotta. Now, you might not know him as the principal brand designer for Magic, but many of you will know him as one of the finest Magic artists of all time. Don't blush, Matt. Um, so, welcome along, guys and girls. First question, look, we've got the 25th anniversary coming right in our horizon. Why is 25 so special, Liz? 25 is huge for us. I mean, not a lot of games make it to 25 years. I mean, one of the things that's most exciting for me is seeing our fans embrace this game beyond just the cards on the table. This is really about coming together as a community, understanding what it means to celebrate ourselves as as, as this kind of a cause, really. I, I think people have come to know the magic community for being welcoming and open, and this is really just a testament to that. All right, so there's so much good stuff. What can the fans expect in the coming celebratory year? I'm pumped for next year because I feel like this is hitting those rock and roll power chords that for fans old and new of, of what makes magic awesome. I mean, we're going back to Dominaria. Dominaria, rock on. <laughs> We're also bringing back the core set. There's going to be birthday party celebrations. It's going to be a big year. So there'll be cake. That sounds exciting. Lots of cake. Look, 25 years, that means there's a ton of history. But people like yourselves are charged with creating a vision that leads magic successfully into the next 25 years. What can we expect? That's right, Rich. And one of the things that's key to that is taking a look around, you know, how are things going with the business and, and, and what can, what's, what's working, what's not? And one of the things that we wanted to keep up with is how the game has evolved. And so we are going to be changing our logo. What? No, okay, not the card back. Oh, okay, we can so. all calm down, apparently. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> not changing the card back, mm -hmm. but we are changing that outward face. And Matt's team definitely led the, led the charge on that. Okay, so Matt, look, why don't you walk us through where the Magic logo began and where we're heading into the future? Sure. Well, if you look at what it was like at the beginning, you can see a logo that was designed to reflect the rustic and medieval qualities, even a handmade quality that the game truly had at that time. But those adjectives don't quite apply to how magic has evolved over the years. Right now what you see is really emblematic in the card art, and that is um, a style that is truly immersive, truly uh, well-realized and high fidelity. The, uh, that modern fantasy approach applies to worlds and how lovingly created and deeply imagined they are and resonant identifiable characters that are built for the long haul. And all of that gets spread out from the art to the card frames, to the packaging outside of the card frames, and all the way out to event spaces like these. Um, and now, for the first time, we get to say that that same modern fantasy love gets applied to the logo itself. Fantastic. Now, a logo change, one of the great strengths of the game is we all feel like we're part owners of Magic the Gathering and its history and its future. We're all stakeholders. So when we see a logo change like this, you know, is that signaling not just a change in the logo, but a change in the game itself? Uh, no. No, okay. actually, uh, the game is solid. It's had 25 years to establish its identity, and it's really comfortable in that. But this does signal that there is going to be some change with the brand of Magic in that those uh, powerful characters and wonderful immersive worlds are going to be uh, expressed in mediums beyond just the cardboard out into uh, digital games, entertainment experiences, and other awesome things that we're super excited to see that modern fantasy uh, appeal uh, exist on. Uh, Liz, we've certainly seen the first sign of, of that change recently with MTG Arena. If you haven't played that yet, there's a, a real treat coming up for you in just a little bit. We've seen the new logo there. Are we about to see the new Magic logo on absolutely everything moving forward from today? It will be a gradual shift. So starting with Dominaria, that'll be the first time you'll see it actually on the packaging. But we'll be gradually moving into it uh, over the course of the next eight to 10 months. All right, now Magic is heading in so many great directions. It has a wonderful history and a wonderful future. MTG Arena is very much a part of that future. And for the next half hour or so, we're gonna leave you in the company of the new way to play Magic the Gathering. Sign up for the closed beta if you haven't already. But you know, for all the wonderful past, Magic is a game that is just getting started.
electronic diversions is a board game called Magic the Gathering, which has drawn some 50,000 players to amateur tournaments over the past couple of years and has now spawned a professional playoff tour. New York City, February 17th and 18th of 1996. The event, the very first tournament of the Magic the Gathering professional tour. seen many many games before which were very good but were very small so to see magic blow up like that was gratifying and unexpected it still surprises me when I think about it today magic's probably the greatest game of all time magic the gathering is an extension of a person's personality once you're into the game you'll find that there are a lot of things designed for certain personality types our players play forever it's not like the game I'm playing now that I played a year ago. It's ever-changing, it's moving, and Magic is ever-evolving. I think it is the best game, but I want it to become even better. If Magic is amazing with 20 years innovation, what happens with 30? What happens with 40? What happens with 50? So that's really what we're doing and growing the whole capability that we can bring. This project is the first really big expression of magic in the digital space. If you think that magic has nowhere to go, well you are wrong because I'm living in the future, I know what it is, and it's freaking going to be awesome.